Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see an example on when to create derived records within a parameter. We will see the example in terms of creation of new records to hold the minimum value across post baseline record. So let us move to the description. So let us say that we have a TFL shell which summarizes the result and change from baseline at each visit and minimum value post baseline. I think this maximum should not have been here. So minimum value post baseline as shown in the screenshot below. So here if we see, so for treatment one, the result is being summarized and change from baseline is being summarized across different visits of baseline week two, week four, week eight and week 24. Along with the actual visits, so minimum value seen during post baseline is also summarized as a conceptual visit here. So these are all actual visits. So minimum value post baseline is kind of is a conceptual time point. So this is not a true time point. So it this value could come from any of the values of week 2, 4, 8 and 24 for a subject. So for a derived for the derived data sets to be analysis ready, we need to identify the minimum value observed during post baseline period. We also need to decide on how to organize the analysis data set. So we will be creating this table using an analysis data set. So if we are using an, that analysis data set, when creating the analysis data set, we need to take into account of these kind of scenarios because we need this in the table analysis. So in the Adam implementation guide, there are certain rules that guide a user on when to add an analysis data point as a row and when to add it as a column. So there is there are certain rules in Adam implementation guide and the rule three says a function of one or more rows within the same parameter for the purpose of creating an analysis time point should be added as a new row for the same parameter. So here in this case, so minimum post minimum value post baseline is a function of one row within the same parameter. So say for example, if this is systolic blood pressure, so it would be analyzed for each visit and minimum value post baseline. So within the parameter, if it is a function of one or more rows, then it should be added as a new row for the same parameter. So within the systolic blood pressure, so we will have to add a new row for systolic uh, minimum value post baseline with the value with this value in the a visit variable so as per this rule as per the analysis requirement we will have to structure our adam data set so minimum value post baseline is considered as conceptual analysis time point in the shell provided to us so we need to apply rule 3 for this scenario and add new rows for the same parameter in this scenario for the analysis data set so what will we see in this lesson? So we'll see how to identify the record with minimum value and append that record to the parent data set. And then we will also see the usage of dtype variable to identify the derived records. So all these parent record, these source records for original collected visits are called source records. And this record is called a derived record. We use a variable called dtype to indicate the derived records. So we will see how to create that. So let us move to the specification now. So we have the specification provided for ADT, param, param CD, param and eval, a visit, a visit in, and D type. So for ADT, so we are being asked to extract the date portion from VSDT and convert it to numeric value. And then for param, so we are being asked to populate using VS position, VS test, and VS STRESU. The units have to be put within the parentheses, but for uh, param variable uh, we are asked to convert the position vs position values to proper case before creating the param value so proper case values of vs position vs test and vs stresu would be used to create our param variable and then param cd so we are being asked to assign the value stsbp when the position is sitting and test CD is equal to BP. So it will be sitting systolic blood pressure. 
and then else if vs position is equal to sitting and vs test cd is equal to dia bp then set to st dbp and for param n so we are being asked to create it use the using the values present in param cd variables so if param cd is equal to st sbp we are being asked to set a value of 1 for param n and else if param cd is equal to st dbp then we are being asked to set it to 2 and then we have the derivation logic for eval it says set to vs st resn and then we have the derivation logic for a visit so which says there are two components involved one is termed as a and the second one is called b for source records so if vs visit is equal to screen then set to screening otherwise convert the visit values to proper case and assign to a visit so and create a new record for each parameter within each a subject to hold the minimum value across all post baseline records so we will have to sub create a new record for each parameter within a subject to hold the minimum value across all post baseline records we will have to see for the minimum value only on post baseline records it's not across all records it is only during post baseline records so if there exists more than one record with minimum value so pick the record with the earliest date say for example the record corresponding to week 2 and week 8 has the same value which say for example 120 and that is the lowest value across all post baseline records so we are being asked to use the record from week 2 as that will have the earliest date so only on this newly created record set the a visit value to minimum value post baseline and for a visit n so for the source visit uh, source records so we are being asked to set the visit num value to a visit n on the newly created record holding the minimum value post baseline so we are being asked to use the value 98 in a visit n variable so and then we have d type variable which says set to minimum on the newly created record holding the minimum value so in all the records where a visit n is equal to 98 the value would be minimum so now let us see how to programmatically implement this so here on the left hand side of my screen i have the sas program that generates the code and on the right hand side i have my input data sets and the intermediate data sets that get generated and the final output data set so here i am using my vital signs data set as input and then creating a data set called vs01 so let us take a quick look at the vital signs data set here so we have parameters called diabp and systolic blood pressure for two subjects here so here we have certain values like visits like screening baseline week 2 week 24 and so on and then let's see how to create derived variables for the source records first so the derived variables first we are creating are param cd and param so here we are checking if vs test cd is equal to sysbp and vs position is equal to sitting if that is the case so as per the specification we were asked to assign the text stsbp to param cd and use one for param n when it is uh, param cd is stsbp so we are creating param n and param cd in the same step using do group processing and similarly we are creating the param n and param cd for diastolic blood pressure we are checking if vs test cd is equal to dia bp and then vs position is equal to sitting so if that is the case so we are assigning stdbp to param cd and 2 to the param n variable and then closing that do group with an end statement and then for param so we were asked to convert the position values to proper case and then concatenate it with the values present in vs test and then concatenate the values present in vs stresu but within parenthesis so we are using opening parenthesis here and then closing parenthesis here for vs stresu and then for adt so we were asked to extract the date portion from vs dtc and convert it to numeric so we are extracting the date portion using sub str function from position 1 to 10 because 1 to 10 positions correspond to the date value in vs dtc and then we are converting it to numeric using input function and yymmdd 10.in format and for eval variable as these are source records so we were asked to assign the value from vs str so we are assigning it and for a visit 
n so we were simply asked to directly copy the values from visit num as these are source records so we are assigning it to it and for a visit so when visit was screening so we were asked to set it to screening in a visit so we are assigning that other in all the other cases we are converting it into proper case values of visit and assigning it to a visit variable and for the newly created date variable ADT so we are assigning the format of date 9 to it so let us take a quick look at VS01 and then see how the newly created variables are looking like. So here we have created param cd, param, paramin, adt, eval, a visit and a visit and a visit in. So for param cd, uh, stsbp, so we uh, for vs test cd is equal to sysbp and position is equal to sitting, param cd was supposed to be stsbp. So this is coming correctly here. And for param, so we used three variable values, vs position, it is in all upper case so we converted it to proper case so that only the cap s is capital and all the other letters are in smaller case and then we use the value in vs test and then we use the value from vs stresu which is mmhg and we concatenated this within parenthesis so sitting systolic blood pressure coming from vs test and then unit mmhg which is coming from vsst resu but concatenated within parenthesis so this is also coming correctly for paramen for stsbp it was supposed to be one so this is correct and then we have extracted the date portion from it and then converted it to numeric and then associated date 9 format to it and then we have a val variable which is a copy of vsst resn so it should be the same 122 here and 122 here and then for a visit so we were asked to use the value screening for when the visit is equal to screen so which is coming correctly here in all the other cases we were asked to convert it into proper case so here visit is uh, baseline in all caps but here we have converted it into proper case and then for a visit and it is a copy of visit now so we have these derived variables created from source variables so now comes our derived record creation so we need to derive the minimum value record so fetch the reference star date from dm as treatment star date so as we want to identify the records which are corresponding to post baseline we need to compare it with the treatment star date so in this example instead of using adsl data set uh, i am using dm data set which in which the rfstdtc corresponds to the treatment star date so i will fetch the rfstdtc as treatment star date into my vital science data set and then compare our analysis date with the treatment start date to identify which record is post baseline record so here dm01 so i am reading rfstdtc and checking if it is greater than or is equal to 10 if that is the case so i am converting it into trt sdt by extracting the date component and converting it into numeric format using input function with yymmdd 10 dot format so let us take a quick look at this one so we have numeric treatment star date available which is derived from rfst dtc of dm data set if adsl is available we will be able to use it but for the sake of simplicity so i am using two sdtm data sets here as input so rfst dtc in this study is equivalent to the treatment star date which would be present in adsl so and then i am sorting my vital science data set based on u sub id paramen and adt and then merging my treatment start date into my vital science data set and then keeping a record for the subjects who are present in both the data set so i have created my vs02 data set here so to pull the treatment start date into vital science rec records and then i am identifying the record with the minimum result across post baseline records so how do we do it so firstly we are using vs02 data set as input in the sort procedure and creating a data set called min01 but when sorting when creating this min01 data set i am using only those records where analysis date or the vital sense collection date is greater than treatment start date and neither of them is missing and then eval not is equal to missing so we are filtering for baseline records and also checking whether the result is not missing and then we are sorting the records in min01 based on the values present in u sub id paramen eval and adt so what happens is 
all the records of a subject come together and within the subject all the records of a param n come together and within a param n if we have multiple records the record with the lowest value come on top and the rec and followed by the next highest result values if we have two records with the same eval value so we are saying that sort by ascending ADT which means the record with the lowest ADT value will come on top so we will be able to pick the first record to pick the record with minimum result and if there exists more than one record with the minimum result so we have ensured that the record with the earliest date comes on top with this sorting order so now let us take a quick look at our min01 data set so these are all the records which are occurring after treatment start date and eval is not missing and we have sorted the results in such a way that the record with lowest value come on top so here if we see so the first two records let's filter for one subject and for one parameter so here if we see there are two records post baseline one is having a result of 140 and the second one has a result of 142 so out of these two the record with value of 142 is lowest so we have ensured that that comes on top so we will subset the first record for each parameter in the next step so by using if first dot parameter so we are creating a new data set called min02 and then using input uh, min01 and we have indicated to the data step that our records are sorted based on the values present in u sub zd paramen eval and adt and then we are picking the first record for each parameter within each subject and then this is gives us the actual earliest uh, or the required record of minimum post baseline value on that record so we were asked to use the value of 98 for a visit n and then a visit a visit value of minimum value post baseline so we are assigning that text to a visit and on that record so we were asked to create the d type variable with a value of minimum so we have assigned the values now let us take a look at the value of data set min02 so we have two subjects and two parameters each so for each of the parameters now we have a minimum value post baseline record subsetted now which means that the 90 uh, 140 record for systolic blood pressure for subject 1 is the minimum value post baseline record and similarly is the case for other subject and parameters on this set of records so we were asked to populate certain values like 198 for a visit and, and minimum value post post baseline for a visit and d type as minimum now we have the minimum value records available we just simply need to append this set of records to our parent record so we are doing that here in the next step vs03 is being created by appending the source parameter record source records of vs02 and then the minimum value post baseline records so let us take a and then we are sorting vs03 data set based on u sub id paramen a visit and, and adt so let us take a quick look at vs03 to see if we have those records brought in to this one yes we have the minimum value records coming into our data set and finally i am creating a data set called output by keeping only the required variables and ordering them in a logical sequence by specifying them on the written statement so let's go back and then take a look at the output data set now if we see we have all the derived variables required and the derived records within the parameter also available so we have stsbp so if we see visit 1 2 3 10 and 98 so we will now be simply be able to generate our required table by uh, generating the analysis by a visit and like how we do it for uh, baseline week 2 week 24 etc when we do the table so as we have this minimum value post baseline as a row the summary would be generated for this visit as well and then we are indicating that this row is a derived row using the date type variable so absence of this indicates that it is coming directly from the source so this indicates that it is coming it is a newly derived row added to the parent rows so this is how you can create derived rows within a parameter when you require minimum value post baseline record thank you for watching and keep learning